Okay, uh, you know what, I gotta tell you something. Uh, uh, here's a gentleman who wasn't actually scheduled to work tonight, but was so inspired sitting in the audience that he wanted to come up here and, and give it a try. So uh, we're gonna just uh, introduce him right from the audience, and that's the spirit. If you think you wanna try this, just let me know and I'll put you on too, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, come to the stage. Let's hear it for Brian. Come on up here, Brian. There you go. Come on, man. Come on, get your ass up here. Come on, man, what are you here? Ah, oh, yes, son of a... Okay, okay, you're gonna be a brat about it here. Hold that? You need a, you need a mic stand? You wanna be my mic stand, Andy? No, I don't. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix you up, baby. Don't worry about it, okay? I feel, I feel like I should help you, because, you know, I'm parked in your space. <laughs> He knew the job was dangerous when he took it. Okay, hold on here. Huh? Like a professional, baby. Yeah, here, hurry. Yeah. Uh, you all right? Aloha. Yeah. <laughs> you were parked in my space. Your car's in Tijuana now. <laughs> so, a priest, a rabbi, and a radical Orthodox Druid are talking. <laughs> I don't want to tell that joke. <laughs> I'm a little off today, bear with me. I uh, got my ass kicked. Sort of had it coming. I parked in a regular parking stall. <laughs> Three, four. Just was putting down the ramp and some big guy went, hey! Saw the placard. I said the wrong thing. I said, it's only gonna, I'm only gonna be a minute. <laughs> Fists flew. Anyway, black comics tell black jokes. Fat comics tell fat jokes. Chicks tell chick jokes. And I tell fat black chick jokes. <laughs> I'm a four-year-old, and not so long ago we were uh, potty training him. So he's out of the diapers and into the drawers, which has a, they're not quite got it down, right? So he's scratching away all day, and then he does this. And I said, son, that's one of those things that everybody does, but nobody does in public, so cut it out. <laughs> When he was an infant, I'd be laying in bed, his mother would bring him, lay him next to me, and his little fist would come right up next to my tit, pull out my tit hairs. I can't run, I'm laughing, I'm crying, I thought they couldn't get any worse until he started climbing off the bed. <laughs> Looking at him with a fistful of tit hairs. So I go to the doctor, and the doctor says, we need to do an endoscopy and a colonoscopy. I said, what's that? He said, that's a procedure wherein we take 15 feet of flexible pipe with a camera on the end, and we go up here. And if all is well there, we're gonna go down your throat. I said, I hope you rinse that thing first. <laughs> they, bring me, <laughs> they bring me the release to sign, and it says that they can use the videotape for any educational or documentary purposes. I said, Doc, you mean I might be home one day watching TV and go, hey, I know that asshole! <laughs> Speaking of asshole. Uh, my secretary just went to the, on a vacation. I said, where'd you go? What'd you do? She said she went to the Grand Canyon and went down on a donkey. <laughs> I said, is there a videotape of that? <laughs> oh, I think they pay me to sit up here and suck my teeth. Not much. Anyway, okay, so bear with me if I'm a little off today. I got busted for shoplifting. <laughs> On eBay. 